Hello friends, welcome back to my channel Excel and Protein X. In this tutorial video, I'll discuss about the IPDG induction. So to know about the IPDG induction, you have to know the basic principle of the lag promoter and lag, lag operator. So the lag promoter here is in the schematic diagram, you see the lag promoter here. So lag promoter is one of the um, important promoter of the bacteria that regulates the, the gene. So in the bacteria they have it is a polycystronic manner because they have only one promoter that regulate the, the all of the genes and in the lac promoter is basically it for uptake of the lactose and that lactose bacteria they use for their energy purposes and for the transcription and translation. So in the basically when the in the environment there is when there is no lac uh, lack sorry no lactose in that case this system is turned off because in the repressor it block the lack operator so basically the uh, this system is turned off in that case but when there is in the environment there is the lack lactose and then this lactose binds with the repressor and then lack operator is free and then lack operator it it start transcription for the lag J, lag Y and lag A, these three kind of genes. But I will not discuss about the lag Y and lag A, but lag J, lag this gene, this gene actually it, it encodes for the beta galactosidase, beta galactosidase, beta gal, alright? And the main function of this beta galactosidase is to break down the lactose and then up, after that it up it used for the uptake for, uh, for the bacteria and then bacteria start transcription all right so when there is no um, lactose then this system is turned off and there is no beta galactosidase that's why for for recombinant protein production in our lab we use when we use the bacterial system, bacterial expression system, so we add some lactose mimic compound. Why lactose mimic compound? Why not lactose? Because lactose is it can easily degraded, so it's not possible to add um, lactose. Because in that case, if the lacto lactose degradation occurs, so we will not get um, sufficient bacteria bacterial expression so for that reason we use some chemical compound that is allolactose mimic and that is known as the IPTG so that is the allolactose allolactose mimic semi-synthetic compound allolactose uh, mimic semi-synthetic compound that is known as the IPTG sorry IPTG alright and this is the structure of the IPTG and the chemical com chemical name of this IPTG is isopropyl beta D1 thiogalactopyranocyte. So this is the name of this that uh, IPTG. And you see in the schematic diagram, this is like when we add the IPTG, when we do when we don't add the IPTG, you see the OD value of the bacteria is very low. So it can it means that the bacterial expression is very low. But when you add IPTG, in that case, the OD is um, is um, is higher. So the bacterial expression is very high, and then high yields of the protein will get. All right. So I'll show you another one experiment, and it will be very easy to understand. So here is the experiment. And in this experiment, there are five different fl bacterial flux has been used for the bacterial culture, and that is E. coli. E. coli, and here you see the in the in, in all of the all of the bacteria all of the flux it has the E. coli, and um, in the first first one there is the, uh, the IPD has not been added. But in the in the other flux, the rest of the flux added the 25 micromole, 100 micromole, 200 micromole, and the 400 micromole of the 
IPTG respectively. So this is the number second, this is third, this is fourth, and this is fifth. So this two, three, four, five in this four plus added 25, 100, 200, and 400 micromole of the IPTG. So after that incubation in 37 degree temperature, 150 RPM sick seeking all right 150 rpm and then for around 17 hours so after that the the media has been collected for testing purposes and run the sds page so you know the sds page is for for detection of the proteins you see here the sds page after after getting the result so here is that no IPTG so this one and this is the 25 micromole so this is the 25 pro mic micromole this one so after that 100 200 and 400 and you see the result the this is the protein expression this is the desired protein band and you see here in the the 400 micromole IPTG the the protein expression is very high this is the highest one but uh, if you compare the 2500 and 200 these all are concentration gradient in the 25 this is lower expression of the protein compared to the 400 and where is the no IPTG in that case the protein expression is not at all there is no protein right you cannot see a band here so there is no protein so it means that IPTG induction is very much important for the bacterial expression to turn on the lac operon so the main function of the IPTG is to turn on the lac operon all right and then we get the higher yield of the protein so this is the I think uh, this part you understand very clearly and also I'd like to show you the the uh, in the plasmid so when you gonna use any plasmid for the protein expression for the getting the protein and for using in the bacterial expression system so in that case you have to use the lac promoter so this is very much important to add the lac promoter in your plasmid so this is uh, this is very normal actually otherwise you won't get any uh, any protein at all so this is the plasmid so uh, so here is the lac promoter and also another another uh, the recent recent experiment I would like to show you the one of the paper that published that is the that is the, this kind of experiment they did and they found that the skinned milk <coughs> they use as an alternative of the IPTG and they found the that is um, that it works in substitute of the IPTG in case of the recombinant protein expression so this is very much actually is um, effective this skimmed, skimmed milk so if you would like to check this paper you can also go through this is in the PMID and also you can search this paper also as well so I hope this video will be helpful so if you like this video kindly hit the like button if you have any comments kindly write in the comment section share it and sub subscribe my channel Thanks.